stream. Today we are at Charleston, South Carolina, and we are going to be taking the C-17 here back to Dover, Delaware. So I hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, let's go ahead and not waste any time and go ahead and get everything fired up inside the aircraft. So first and foremost, let me unpause the simulator because I had it paused. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get everything powered on inside the aircraft. So we got the battery switch already on. And let's get a little bit of light up in here because it's kind of dim. So first and foremost, we need to program our route into our CDU or our FMS. So we're going to be departing uh, Dover via the Palmetto 2 departure. So let's go ahead and start programming all that uh, or we're gonna be departing Charleston I said Dover <laughs> so we're gonna be departing Charleston via the Palmetto 2 and we're gonna depart via runway 15 and our destination day like I said is Dover Delaware yeah let's go ahead and do our legs arrival departure departure here is Palmetto 2 with a Bartle transition and like I said, it's going to be runway 15. And after that, we will be going. Let's look at our flight plan again. So we'll catch the J121 uh, jetway. And after J121, we'll connect to ORF. And we'll execute that. And then our arrival into Dover is going to be okay. Why do not why do I not see the arrival in here? The arrival should be the Smyrna three arrival. So I'm not sure why I do not see that in here. Uh, everything is updated, but we'll just go with email and our transition point will be ORF. And we're going to shoot for ILS runway 19 and we'll connect to the CFBM uh, waypoint. So we'll execute that. It looks like everything is good here. Let me just amend my flight plan a little bit so they know which uh, star I'm going to be using. And let's go ahead and hop in here. So everything's good to go there. Um, so 250, 250 here. We're going to be shooting for three. Let's go for 308. Actually, let's go for 310 at flight level 11, or not flight level, but cruising out to 112. And our cruise, I want to set that for 280. And our cruising altitude today, like I said, is going to be uh, uh, 31, our flight level 310. I had to make sure that's what I filed. So yeah, our cruising out to today is going to be flight level 310. And let's look at all this. Make sure everything's good. 280, 280. That's good. Our next page. Still we're looking good there. Everything drops down. And then we need to go to C FBM. And dear, we need to catch that at 2,000 feet to uh, established the localizer for run runway 19, so 250 at uh, 2000. So that should be good there. And actually, I think I'm going to throw a KDOV in there. That way it doesn't uh, mess us up. So let's look back and make sure we don't have any issues with our routing. Everything's looking good. There, there, there. And our 
climb 250. And look at the rest of our leg. All right, so everything's looking good. We can go ahead and get everything else going in the aircraft. So I hope everybody's having a great day, like I mentioned before. And let's, all right, so down. Check our panel lights. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything up and going in the aircraft. First, let's get some music going. Because I love having music uh, while we're uh, streaming. And our radio is already set for 122.8. Let's go ahead and put our transponder code. We'll go 4430 and do that. And it's our LNAV and VNAV, so we don't forget those. And that's my phone just notifying me that I'm live. So we are good. So let's go ahead and turn on our anti-collision light. Uh, anti-collision light is on at this time. Nav lights are on as well. So let's go ahead and start firing up our engines. So we'll go with engine number one. Engine one is good to go. Go with engine two and set our takeoff flaps. Engine two is good. Go with engine three. Three is good, and we're spooling up the final engine. Then we can go ahead and taxi out of here. And as I mentioned before, we're going to be expecting to take off a runway 15, which is directly right behind us. And number four is good to go as well. So we got our anti-collision light on, we got our nav lights on. I'll turn on our formation lights once we get to the active. So let's go ahead and taxi out here to the active and let's squawk move Charlie so people can see that we're up and running. And let's check the edges real quick. All right. Let's go ahead and hit it. So it should be a fairly good flight into uh, Dover this evening.
this little short here, make sure there's nothing taxing over. I'm pretty sure there isn't, but you never be too careful. Let's continue our taxi. And we'll cut our dome light because we don't need that right now. There's my dog barking. The dog always likes to bark. Alright, so let's do it right here on one five real quick. Approaching one five. And make sure nothing's coming in on us. So we are looking good. So we can go ahead and turn on our formation lights. Make sure those are on. There they are. And turn on our takeoff lights. And we can go ahead and get out here. On runway one five. All right, we're on one five. Make sure everything is set for us. Heading is set. And verify that LDI oh, VNAV's on. So let's go ahead and hit it. Gear up, all the power on, and let's set our way and bring up our flaps.
Mamba, how are you doing today? Welcome to today's stream. We are just taking the C-17 back into Dover, Delaware this evening. So yeah, how was your day going? Mine was pretty good. I'm just now getting off of work. Ah, oh, lucky. I was like I was, was mentioning yesterday on on my stream. I was supposed to be off tonight, but uh. Or I was supposed to be off today, but I had to go in. But luckily I'm off now, so. No, I fly other ones. I fly, uh, I have the PMDG uh, 737, the uh, PMDGs 777, and the Captain Sim 777. So I usually fly those. I just wanted to fly uh, this one this week because I did up uh, updates to um, my military sceneries in FSX, so I wanted to fly into those. But yeah, I fly other planes as well. Yeah, this is FSX. Yep, FSX Steam Edition. Yeah, a little bit old school, but I'm, uh, I like FSX. Uh, I wanted to use it, or the reason I fell in love with it is because I had such a hard time running it before. I never had a system that was fast enough to be able to handle it. Keep telling um, everybody else, Starflex and all of them, that I want to eventually get on X Plane and check it out. Pretty much, that's all it is. It's an updated FSX, not have P3, P3D. The only reason I haven't used it is because it's seen. It looks kind of cartoonish to me, personally.
Rex, Skyforce 3D, and what's that? Tomato Shade? Okay. Because, yeah, I, I would love to use P3D, but as I mentioned before, it just looks too cartoony to me, and I'm like, I don't like cartoony. Are you flying right now or are you just hanging out? Okay, because right now I'm running a uh, an NVIDIA uh, 1060 video card. Okay, but I really like uh, X-Plane and like I said, I want to jump into it because I've seen uh, some of my other viewers use it and I've seen some of their streams and I really like how it looks, like how you have the rain effect that comes across the windshield, how your ramps have the actual uh, ramp lights and whatnot. Um, Flight Simulator uh, lacks all that stuff. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably start doing P3D, or not P3D, but X-Plane in the near future. Yeah, because uh, right now I'm running uh, i7-3770, and I think the highest I can go for my current motherboard is a 6000 series uh, per the chipset. So I'm thinking about um, planning on uh, upgrading to the 6000 series uh, CPU. So yeah, we're getting to yeah, continuing our climb out of Charleston, uh, heading into Dover, Delaware, on this beautiful sunset. I said there's nothing but tweaking and nothing to do and take us off. Pretty much, I can I can definitely agree with that because you get you get the simulator, you start finding add-ons that people are using either via you find it online or you see it on a video or something and you want that add-on and then you want to change stuff on the aircraft and yeah I agree so it's mostly tweaking and 10% uh, flying like for instance with this aircraft I spent I spent uh, three days 
just doing modifications to it because out of the box this aircraft didn't come with a functioning FMS, it didn't come with VNAV, it didn't come with LNAV. Um, so you had to manually do everything. And I found um, gauges that I can uh, incorporate into the aircraft to where I get those functionalities back. And then once I figured that out, um, I went and uh, updated some of the visuals on it. So for instance, the FMS, on this aircraft uh, that came with the, um, the program. It looked like just a generic Smith FMS and I had to go to view uh, instrument panel and then select FMS before it came up. Well now I can just click right here on my uh, mission computer. It pops up <clears throat> and as you can see I did um, some changes to the FMS so it doesn't look like the generic Smith FMS. It looks just like the FMS that's down here on the pedestal. So it looks just like that one right there. So I'm super excited with that. And also I figured out how to get my uh, VNAV to work because it wasn't working before. I had to do strictly LMAV and manually make my altitude, my flight level, and speed adjustments myself. So that's kind of another reason why I'm flying this plane a lot uh, this week is because I want to test all those things out and I'm super excited that I got all those things fixed. So what's your favorite aircraft to fly on uh, X-Plane or P-3? Sorry, I'm just... Uh taking my boots off because I came straight home from work and jumped right on the sim. I didn't even get out my uniform yet. Any plane I can fly and not crash. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Because let me tell you, I had a heck of a time uh, when I first started streaming. Or I'd say um, the third time I went up stream or what have you I had brought out the uh, PMDG 737 and mind you I haven't used that aircraft in forever so um, hold on a second, just a something. so yeah I haven't used that aircraft in forever and uh, I brought it out had to stream up I'm talking to the audience or whatever and then when it came time to uh, start the engines I couldn't even remember how to start the engine. <laughs> so I ended up having to stop the stream and do some OJT real quick to learn how to start the daggone engines of the aircraft. Yeah, it was, it was pretty embarrassing. Like, I, I got on there trying to sound like a a, uh, a true live streamer and everything, and a professional live streamer, and then I got on there and could not even figure out how to start the daggone plane. I was like, well, this is embarrassing as crap. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, but I had to remember how to start... Uh, like the engine bleeds, the AP, the APU bleed, the engine, uh, the packs and everything like that. I had to remember what order they had to go in in order to get it started. So yeah, it was a complete noob moment. Complete noob moment. But I think my favorite, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like I was mentioning yesterday, live streaming is actually hard work. I didn't realize how hard it was to live stream, because I thought it would be easy to get in here and just fly a plane and and um, chat with people, but it's kind of hard to multitask, especially if you're having issues 
because you don't want to ignore one or the other. So if I'm flying the plane, I'm somewhat not paying attention to the chats. And I've had people call me out before uh, where they're saying, hey, you're ignoring me. No, I'm not ignoring you. I'm making sure I don't crash my plane. And then there's been times where I've been paying attention to the chats, but not paying attention to the aircraft. And then something malfunctions, uh, autopilot disconnects or um, it starts diving or something like that. So I, I didn't realize how challenging it was to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to change that up. Uh, so you're saying probably about uh, go with 720? Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, set that up in my settings. I don't think, I know I can't do it right now because I'm streaming. I don't think I can anyway. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I can't. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll set it up uh, next time. Yeah, makes sense. I take it you've been, uh, that you've streamed before. Okay. I'm gonna go in here and let me see. Find you. Mama. 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 Gator simulation. Three years. Nice. And apparently he's saying okay. Alright, well hey, you just got another follower. Cause I didn't realize that you streamed as well, but hey. So three years. Uh, how was it when you first started out? Okay. Now go mosquito. So when I started streaming, I started out with uh, uh, Ghostbusters the video game, and I started out on YouTube. And my daughter and I would sit and uh, do the playthrough and everything. And I would do something like so. I had a viewer going on. Really? Somebody donated X Plane 11? Oh, that's, that's pretty sweet. Oh, okay, okay.
So, so he popped in your stream, donated the the simulator, and then disappeared. Wow. Well, I'm just happy when people pop into my stream to watch. Like the first time I had a viewer pop into my stream to watch me play, I was almost like a kid in a candy store. I was like, wow, this is awesome. Somebody's here to watch. And then like a couple of seconds, I mean, I didn't say that, but I was thinking it. And then like a couple of seconds, they logged out. I was like, oh, I appreciate it. It started out pretty rough. Like uh, my daughter, my um, oldest daughter, she's pretty good. Like she watches a lot of streamers and plays video games herself. And my first layout that I had for my stream, she was like, oh uh, yeah, that does not look good at all. <laughs> uh, never pay attention to your account if you have it up. Uh, no, nah, I don't have it up. Uh, uh, I don't think I have it up. No, I don't have it up. But I see what you're saying because it kind of discourages people. If they don't see any viewers, they're probably like, well, why am I sitting here wasting my time? Yeah. It's all about the grind. Like what, like I was saying before, when I first started, there was times where I would get on here and I wouldn't have a single viewer. And I would have to sit there and figure out how to hold a conversation with an invisible person um, in the uh, event that somebody did pop in to watch my stream. And if you want to get a bigger network now, if you want to get bigger network now. So you're saying network on like uh, Instagram, Facebook, things like that, Twitter. Uh, I feel you. My only thing is my schedule is kind of wishy-washy because of you know because of my job. Um, I can't really put a set schedule. Yeah, getting involved in the chats and stuff like that. Because, yeah, that would be absolutely rude. You just pop into somebody's stream and just be like, hey, come check out my channel. I've had that happen. I have a, a YouTube channel. It's not for video games, it's for uh, DIY. But I have a YouTube channel. And I have, I've had people pop into my YouTube channel. Oh, you freaking mosquito. I've had people pop into my YouTube channel and try to do the whole sub for something. Like, oh, hey, I just followed you. Go check out my channel and follow back. Like, no, no, that's not how it works. Okay, um, why so with the Discord? Because I know other people were saying, hey, you should get a Discord, but I didn't really know why I should get one. I have a disc. I have Discord because I play GTA uh, sometimes, but uh, I wasn't sure why I should use it for this. Ah, okay.
always good to hang out with his new training. Oh, gotcha. Okay. It's all about network and Discord is good for that. Okay. Another thing I have an issue with is uh, balancing out my audio. Like, because I like to play music when I'm flying. Uh, so, you know, if ATC isn't on, you're not just sitting here just listening to my voice and the sound of the engine. So I like having music when I'm flying, and sometimes I have an issue balancing out the, uh, the audio. Star flags. Yep, Mamba just Mamba just told me that the music it was a little bit overbearing. Is that a little bit better? Okay. Yeah, we were literally just having that discussion about how I have a hard time. Uh, Oh, you can't hear it. Yeah, I can't hear the music. Well, I can faintly, barely hear the music. Oh, it didn't send you the notification? I still hear the hum of the uh, aircraft. So it's all good. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why. Let's look at something. building getting burnt down you got buildings getting burnt down over there by you Starflex star probably is drunk and blaming it on Jimmy So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do once this stream is done is, because uh, this will probably be the only stream I do for the night, because I got to get up early tomorrow. Uh, oh, I didn't know Jimmy never been here, but this is still in No, Jimmy has been here. Jimmy has jacked up some of our flights. Jimmy has jacked up a lot of our flights. <laughs> Oh, you mean the actual person? No, the actual person hasn't been here. But, uh, uh, Starflex has brought him along. In spiritual sense, I should say. Yeah, that's what Starflex was saying. (laughs) 
<laughs> a weird imagination, huh? So to, to set it back down to uh, 720, I just go to settings and then stream settings, right? Stream settings and output. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that uh, as soon as we get done. As soon as I get done. But yeah, so I'll be able to stream. Let's see. Words. We need words or something. What are you talking about? You making up random gibberish, Starflex? Yeah, I think Starflex is making up random gibberish. I wonder if I should move my chat box up. Huh? <laughs> Starflex has issue with basic words. So Starflex, I got that issue fixed with my C17. Remember yesterday when I was having that weird uh, contrail coming out the back when I was taxiing on the ground? I spent, after streaming last night, I spent an additional two hours sitting here trying to figure out what that was and I finally got rid of it. I don't know what it was, but I finally got rid of it. It was a pain in the butt. And it was only on this model. Because yesterday initially I was like, oh, because I have my weather engine on. I was like, oh, Maybe it's cold in Delaware, and that's why that's the the mist or whatever coming out of the engines. No, it wasn't. Yeah, now, now that's the only miss you see. The weather's good. Yeah, it's good over here. Over there is starting to get high. Huh. Yeah, it's starting to get cold over here. But I'm in California, so it's not that, that cold. 
I think I could still wear like short sleeves and shorts up until January. <laughs> so what's I mean what's the weather like when it's uh during the summertime? Do they get extremely hot over there during summer? Maximum I see a seven around this area. Oh wow. It can get to where I live during the summer, it can get up to like a hundred and I've seen it get up to like a hundred and six. Actually I've seen it get higher than that. Like a hundred and nine. And it's unbearable. You do not want to go outside when it's like that. You say, yeah, no thanks. Yeah. Like this past summer, I absolutely hated going outside. And believe it or not, I've seen, I saw people. Oh, it's a dry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Fact. But I've also, I've. Oh, on hot days like that, I've seen people outside running. I'm like, are y'all crazy? Like, what the heck are you doing? Want to die of a heat stroke? Yeah. Definitely, how to get a heat stroke, part one. 120 degrees, woo! Where is that at? Excuse me. Laredo, Texas. Have I been to Laredo? No, I've been to Lubbock. I've been to Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas, and even that was a no thank you. What do you mean y'all know what to do? Yeah. Seems new layout is gay. I you mean Twitch's uh, new layout? Yeah, that is weird. You go through the desert 102, the instant mountain. Or through the mountains and then San Diego. Cold. No steam. Oh. What's wrong with their layout? I haven't seen it. Since they updated it? Oh, I've never, I've never been to Camp Pendleton. I've been to Miramar several times, but not Camp Pendleton. Ah, sorry, my throat's getting dry.
Okay. And you say you used to be with FedEx, right? You mean throats can never be dry and they can be wet? <clears throat> wet dogs, wet throats, same concept. Oh, okay. <laughs> that drives out bro, pretty good. Oh, you talk about this? Yeah. Yep, it does. <laughs> he said they really aren't. <laughs> so how's the audio now on y'all's end? Is it equal balance? Okay. So we should be reaching the top of our descent here shortly. And we're going to be expecting ILS for runway uh, 19. God willing, vaping is better for you than breathing the air and being seen here in the city. I don't live in the city. <laughs> I know it's better than, it's definitely better than smoking, that's for sure. I don't, after vaping, I don't wake up the next morning feeling like my chest is about to cave in. Yeah, the eighth cleanest air in the world and not a single in and out in sight. I have an in and out less than five miles away from my house. Oh, that would definitely be a, uh, we have Carl's Jr. betting. Carl's Jr. is the same thing as Hardee's. Here, here in the States, on the East Coast, it's called Hardee's. On the West Coast, it's called Carl's Jr. But it's the same company. In and out next to five guys. That would be bad. Who do you think would win? You think five guys would or in and out? Oh, okay. So the aircraft is beginning its descent down into Dover. In and out of five guys. 
<laughs> oh god, good burgers, so you Americans always win when making good food. It's the fattiest food in the world, probably. <laughs> in and out of five guys. <laughs> oh shit. Their names. I'm like, damn. <laughs> oh, shoot. I had five guys before. Really? What were their names? <laughs> How did y'all meet? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I would just refer to it as the burger joint. But yeah, I went to the burger joint. Oh, which one? Don't worry about it. I just went to a burger joint. Yeah, I, but I've never, I've never eaten there. I really want to, cause I remember it had to have been like seven or eight years ago. It might have been nine years ago. Uh, there was a video that a guy had made um, reviewing Five Guys bur burgers and uh, his reaction to it. And I was like, you know what? I want to, I want to try their burgers. But I was living in Japan at the time, so I was like, I have to wait another few years before I can go and try it. I went to Subway. I went to Subway. So, forget it. <laughs> it is really expensive. Oh, yeah, I heard. I heard it's pretty expensive. You know, it's pretty sad that there's no ATC on right now. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That is going on. I know Avocado messaged me earlier and he was saying that pretty much the entire United States 
was covered at one point, but that was around, I think, 3 or 4 this afternoon. And I was like, well, that sucks. I'm at work. Oh yeah, I'm eclectic. I like all kinds of music. It's actually quite funny. I'll be at work and uh, I'll play... Uh, I could be listening to Creed or Nine Inch Nails or, or Perfect Circle or Pucifer or something. And people look at me, they're like, what do you know about that music? I'm like, I'm eclectic. I listen to all kinds of music. If it has a good beat, I'm going to listen to it. Hey, nothing wrong with metal. Yeah. I think you should have an appreciation for all genres of music. Yeah, definitely. No, 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 no. Yeah, can't, I can't listen to auto-tune. Auto-tune auto -tune is a big no-no. I like music whenever they mix like old school with new school. Two fifty? Nah. Hope not. We're not even about to land yet. I mean, we are about to land, but it's a little bit too early for you to be saying that. Like literally, this Dover right there out our front window, but we have to go down and we have to V line. We have to U turn back. I saw. Metallica Live in 2017 and it was the best time in third row. Wow! Wow, you got the guard you got the guitar pick too? Awesome! <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so we're about to hit 10,000 feet, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my landing lights. Let's go ahead and, oh, God.
he breaks out because we're gonna have to slow down. People are like, "How do you know it was his? It got his name on it." <laughs> uh. So as you can see down there, there's Dover Air Force Base. We are going to be flying over and then circling back and landing at runway 19. Come on, man. I pulled the speed brakes too fast, so now everybody's in the brace position. Already jumped out. You got a parachute, I hope. <laughs> Y'all are a trip. There's Loadmasters. There's Loadmasters on um, on uh, C-17s and when there's passengers on board, they become flight attendants. <laughs> Some of the random stuff Starflex is Starflex says, I swear. He learned from Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy taught him how to be random.
Brace, brace, bracey, break, break, brecca. <laughs> I'm not ignoring y'all, I'm just paying attention to what I'm doing. Avocado shows up at the clutch. What's going on there, buddy? Oh, okay. See where that landing looked like. Ah. Dang it, I never get the right timing on that.
600 remaining. That wasn't a bad landing. Was well, not brace worthy. You and your braces. <laughs> All right, so let's continue our taxi. All right, so yeah, let's taxi down to the end and get over to the parking ramp. And as soon as we get off here, we'll turn our formation lights off and our uh, landing lights. 100 remaining. Oh, the routes that you were talking about earlier? That, when you uh, messaged me? What was my landing yesterday? 160? <laughs> that would be a nice pamphlet. Get Starflakes interested in that sim again. It was not 515 Starflakes. It was 160. I have video to prove it. Whoever designed this map did a pretty good job because I can pretty much recognize every single one of these buildings. You and these clips, that was from yesterday. Jesus. Me and Starflex are going to fight. I know it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I know, you know what? I, I really appreciate when y'all are in here. Y'all make my uh, flying experience more enjoyable. hit me so hard. <laughs> hey Avocado, do you find it hard to land a C-17? I got peanuts. <laughs> oh, I got peanuts. <laughs> that was a funny one and I knew you were going to clip it too. I was like, he's going to clip this one, I know for a fact.
one for X plane is a bit odd. So yeah, I usually have an average of 200 to 300. Yeah, the, um, if that's the, if that's the first version of Vertuvia uh, C17 that you have, that thing was weird. Like you couldn't even do full flaps on it because the back end would like kick up or some crap. It was weird. Stop spamming that one. <laughs> That's the one thing about this ramp is that parking for the C-17s is way the heck over here. Oh, okay. It's a new one. Is the one I just said? Okay. I just assumed you were spamming. Alright guys, so we have made it to Dover. You should fly from Wellington to my hometown, like 30 minute flight. Ah, uh, I would, but I can't tonight. Like I said, I gotta get up extra early. I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do uh, prior to um, my wife getting back. Because I am not trying to get killed. No, I can't. I promise I'll do it next time. Just remind me. Clocks reverted an hour back. Easy. <laughs> oh, no, no. I can't. Because I really can't. I really can't. But I promise you, next time I will. Next time I will. All right. So let's kill our engines. And we are at the ramp, so yeah. Remind me next time, seriously. But we're at the ramp. That's why they all. That's what they all say. All right, Star Flex, Really? Did I not? When when that one person was on, he asked me to do that flight in Australia. Did I not accommodate? So just remind me, and I got you. <laughs> and it's on video, so like. If I, if I don't hold true to my word, you can always say, hey, it's on video. So, but anyway, Avocado, Starflex, and yes, but then he asked you to do another 12 hours of flight. Yeah, he was crazy on that one. <laughs> Would you? 12 hours of flying and I had to go to work that next day, that same day? No. But anyway... Avocado, Mamba, uh, Starflex, really appreciate y'all hanging out with me once again. Maybe didn't. Maybe didn't. 
<laughs> really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I really got to go. Uh, so turn on the notification. Figure out why your notification thing and let you know I was on Starflex. And uh, until next time, y'all have a good one. See ya. <laughs>